Hi, I'm David Robbins, product leader for the offshore subsea wellhead group uh, for Baker Hughes. And I've got Phil Potter, our uh, product engineer, um, and we're going to share some information about technology updates. So BakerHughes.com forward slash subsea connect TV um, website. Um, today, we want to talk a little bit about the H4FX. Uh, it's actually technology that we've rolled out fairly recently. Um, and uh, but some people may not have heard about it. So, Phil, just briefly, you know, how would you define what H4FX technology is? Yeah, thank you, David. So, H4FX really came around in the last couple of years where we, we've, we've been continually evolving the performance of our wellhead, our, our subsea wellhead system in this case. We've been looking at opportunities to change materials, to change profiles, and we actually came up with a an SFX wellhead system, which we can we'll actually discuss in, a, in another conversation. But the the H4 FX, it, as we were improving our fatigue, we were getting closer and closer and closer to other, let's say, limiting not limiting pieces of the equipment of the wellhead, but more about just encroaching right upon what the capability of the equipment could be. So we saw there was an opportunity to go in and really look at this as well-established technology that's in the H4 and and really improve. Or, or optimize the, the, the design, if you like, in order to just push that boundary even further. So what we did was really dug into the details. We looked at the, the, the profiles that we had, any opportunities to reduce the stress concentrations down. Essentially, from an analytical perspective, that's what we did. We, we optimized it. We then threw it into some, some FEA models. And when you make that with some of our existing drilling equipment that we have in, in our fleet, we're able to improve the fatigue performance two to four times just by making these simple geometry improvements. So whereas the H4 typically isn't a limiting piece of the equipment in our in our design, it's just it was an opportunity to just really reset that that benchmark, right, for the for the design for the technology and it's start to push that envelope again. Good. And at the end of the day, what's that how's that going to benefit the customer? Yeah, so the customer's going to see really no difference whatsoever, right? The visually it's going to be you have to really look at it to notice that there was any change from an interface fit, all of our existing technology, all of our existing uh, subsea wellhead connectors will latch on the same. Um, it's actually a backwards compatible profile. So you could in theory machine it from a, an already manufactured wellhead and get the same performance. But it's essentially same interface fit. Structurally, we looked to evaluate some of the structural capability in the equipment. Um, and it was shown to have a like, 99.98% of the of the actual capacity in the wellhead system. So it was from a rating standard, it didn't change anything. Um, so really it's we are doing this as part of a, a standard profile on all of our wellhead systems going forward, all of our 27 inch mantles. So it really is just a the customer's going to be getting this technology. They can come to us and ask for it if they want to have more details on it. But it is just a a forward evolution in our product that has very minimal impact to, to our customers at all. Yeah, except for potentially longer longer life of field, right? Exactly. <laughs> so except for the longer field life that they get out of it. Yeah. So and again, if customers want more details, they can come to us and, and kind of look into the nuances of what we did. But no, we're if it's such a simple change, it's really an opportunity to elevate the performance. And yeah, we're, we're really excited by this technology piece as well. And this is available now? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we've already been machining this on our wellheads. Uh, like I mentioned, going forwards, this will be the standard de facto profile that we include in all of our 27 inch mandrels going forwards. So, yes, it is available now. Um, it will be included as part of the analytical analysis that we do. We're already using the, the SAF numbers in the, in the um, FBA reports or fatigue analysis as well. So, absolutely, it is out there and being used as we speak. Great. Now, appreciate your time. Um, again, we just want to try to share some of the updates that. Uh, that we're trying to do uh, to help move the industry forward. Uh, there can be more information you can find about this topic and, <clears throat> and other topics, again, on bakerhughes.com forward slash connect TV. Appreciate your time. Thanks. No problem. Thank you.